Welcome again to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, we are going to show you how to reduce red eye using color channels. Now, before we begin, we want to make sure you understand what color channels are. And to do that, uh, we're going to take a look and see what color channels are available to us here. Now, if you look at this image here, it obviously has red eyes and there's obviously some red on the skin tones. Now, if we look at the color channels, which is beside the layers panel, okay, and you take a look at this panel, you can see that there's red, green, and blue channels, which are represented by various levels of brightness and darkness, depending on how much of each color is on each of the channels. If you look at the red channel, we would expect the eyes and the skin to be very, very light. So let's take a look. And yes, they are. And conversely, or as well, um, looking at the eyes, which have some blue in it, we would expect this area to be a bit lighter because it has some blue in it. And yes, it is a bit lighter because it has blue in it. Now, we're going to go back to the RGB channel and back to our layers. And the first thing we're going to do is, before we make an adjustment, is to duplicate the layer. That way we'll make edits on a, a different layer of the exact same image, and we can flip back between the original and the edited layer later on. Now, to begin, we have to make a selection. So we are going to zoom in on the eyes. I'm going to spot zoom into the eyes and we're going to select both pupils using the elliptical marquee tool. So if I hold down the shift key I can get a perfect circle and hold down the space bar to move it centrally and that's pretty good. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to continue holding down the shift key because I have to add. Now I can't get the perfect circle I'm just going to have to do it myself and use a space bar to move it into place and try and get all of the circle. And that's pretty good. Now, the little highlight in the middle is good to remove because it adds a bit of realism to the photograph because that should exist regardless of whether the person got red eye or not. And I'm gonna remove this one as well. And I'm holding down the option key obviously to remove this from the selection. Now, now that we have these areas selected, we just have to figure out how am I going to make this darker? Well, if we go into the channels and we go to the red channel, we see that this is really light. And essentially what we want to do is we want to make the red channel dark <laughs> to eliminate all that red. Well, the best way to do this is to look at the other channels and see which channels are actually dark. So if we look at this and the green's very dark, and the blue actually has a bit of vignetting around here because there's a bit of blue in that highlight there. So I think the best channel to choose is the green one. And all I'm going to do is copy the black in here using Command C and then going to the red channel and doing Paste Command V. And it darkens that channel. Now when we darken that channel, essentially what that means is no red is going to show here anymore. So if we go back to the RGB channel and we look and let's just remove the selection by going Command D, we have an actual decent red eye removal. We have a bit of red here because I didn't select perfectly, but it's almost unnoticeable. But that's how we do red eye reduction using channel. I hope you found that informative.